We're John Mitchells. Uh, I'm really excited for Sunday. Final day of the 2021 All Britain competition gets underway with Hurling and Camogie getting their chance to leave their mark on the event. For Komogi, it is the first time that the sport has been included in the biggest GAA event outside of Ireland's schedule, and it has only added to the spectacle as the sun shines down on Chacon Gales. Its pathway will surely follow that of its brother Hurling, which has been a part of the ABCs for a few years now, and the number of participants keep rising. 210 players, up from 158 last time, across under 6, 8, 11, 14 and 17 represented the sport as Chris Bruh, coach of John Mitchell's under 8s, reveals how the ABCs has been influential in drawing more people into the sport. So the first time we've, uh, with John Mitchell's we've taken five teams down here today. We've, started, we've got an under 8s team, uh, two under 11s teams, an under 14s team and an under 17s team. The ABCs now has given us a platform for all of our teams to come down and be competitive and every kid enjoys coming down here and playing these matches. Without this on the calendar, okay, there would, all the training could be wasted throughout the year. So the development, we've, we started with 12, 13, 14 players at training and now we're getting 40, 45 each week out training and that's because of the game. Chris has been a coach for five years but came through the development setup at John Mitchell's when he was nine. It is the ninth year that the ABCs has taken place, but the first during Larry McCarthy's three-year term as the GAA president, which began in February 2021. He is the first overseas head of the GAA, having been elected when based in New York, where the following is also big but growing. Events like this are key to the growth of Gaelic games in areas where other sports are higher on the agenda, but they wouldn't be able to go ahead without volunteers. The GAA is based on volunteers. I mean, everybody in, in the institution are, are volunteers. The whole operation is, is a volunteer basis. You would have a lot of people, I'm assuming, took a day off work on Friday to be here. They're giving up their Saturday and Sunday, giving up their weekends. But that's not unusual in the GA. I mean, we're unique in that regard um, in terms of world organisations in sport, that we are completely and utterly volunteer based in terms of administration and also in terms of players. Football has flourished throughout the weekend. Different ages, backgrounds and standards across many clubs with one thing in common, a passion for the sport and a smile to be involved in this year's ABCs. To see the amount of girls that have come out, um, like there's over 2,000 kids here and you've got seven or 800 of them are girls, which is just fantastic. That was Patricia Morrison, the head of the LGFA, who, like Larry, is at her first ABC Games in her position. The under 18 girls is the highest age group at the ABCs and the standards displayed have been exceptional with St. Colm Cales winning the cup competition. It's our last, last all Britons, so it's, it's to go out here, so. It has been a whirlwind three days here in London. Everyone has come together to make the event a success and though it is a shame it has ended, the excitement for next year has already begun.